Jim Caviezel's acting career has spanned over three decades, and he's worked with such filmmaking giants as Ang Lee, Tony Scott, and Terence Malick. A devout Catholic, Caviezel was profoundly moved during production of the 2004 hit, The Passion of the Christ, in which he portrayed Jesus and began changing his career focus to making inspirational films that more directly appeal to audiences of faith, such as, When the Game Stands Tall, and, Paul, Apostle of Christ. In his 2023 movie, Sound of Freedom, Caviezel plays the real-life Tom Ballard, a DHS special agent who goes rogue to rescue a young girl who has been kidnapped by a Columbia sex trade ring. The film has been celebrated by politically conservative audiences, while critics were more mixed. Despite the controversy surrounding the film, Sound of Freedom became the unexpected box office hit of 2023, crossing the coveted $100 million mark in only 16 days. With all the debate, many have forgotten the wide range of roles that Caviezel has displayed as an actor, from an NYPD cop anxious to go back in time to save his father in Frequency, to a pacifist GI who steps up to prove his heroism in The Thin Red Line plus the Count of Monte Cristo and, yes, Jesus Christ. So let's raise a glass and pour through the top 10 Jim Caviezel movies ranked, from worst to best. Director, Tony Scott. Writers, Bill Marsilii, Terry Rascio. Starring Denzel Washington, Paula Patton, Val Kilmer, Jim Caviezel, Adam Goldberg, Bruce Greenwood, L. Fanning. In Tony Scott's 2006 sci-fi action hit, Caviezel is the bad guy, a domestic terrorist named Carol Erstadt who is responsible for an explosion, killing 543 ferry passengers. ATF Special Agent Doug Carlin, Denzel Washington, discovers a time window that will allow him to travel back in time and do his best to stop Carol before he plants the deadly explosive that would go on to kill a woman, Paula Patton, he loved. Caviezel goes all out in the role, a necessity of your going up against Denzel, while still making the terrorists' actions understandable, at least in his own mind. Director, Mimi Letter. Writer, Leslie Dixon. Starring Kevin Spacey, Helen Hunt, Haley Joel Osment, Jay Moore, Jim Caviezel, John Bon Jovi, Angie Dickinson. Caviezel took a decidedly offbeat role in Mimi Letter's inspirational drama as Jerry, a homeless drug addict who is taken in by young Trevor, Haley Joel Osment, whose only request is that Jerry pay it forward by willingly doing a favor for someone who might need his help. Jerry holds up his end in repaying his kindness by doing car repairs for Trevor's mom Arlene, Helen Hunt. Although Jerry soon relapses back into drugs. Caviezel plays Jerry with a welcome grittiness that helps to ground some of the fancifulness of the film's message. Director, Luis Mendoki. Writer, Gerald D. Prego. Starring Jennifer Lopez, Jim Caviezel, Sonia Braga, Terence Howard, Jeremy Sisto, Shirley Knight. Caviezel was a last-minute replacement for Aaron Eckhart in this romantic drama, but you'd never know from the way he slipped into the role and clicked on screen with co-star Jennifer Lopez. Caviezel stars as Stephen, Catch, Lambert, a mysterious stranger who always seems to show up in the nick of time to prevent police officer Sharon Pogue, Lopez, from harm, turns out, it's not a coincidence, as Catch and Sharon have met before. The film received mixed critical reviews, which many calling it schmaltzy, but most cited the Lopez slash Caviezel chemistry to be among the film's highlights. Director, Ang Lee. Writer, James Scamus. Starring Tobey Maguire, Skeet Ulrich, Jeffrey Wright, Jewel, Simon Baker, Jonathan Rhys Myers, Jim Caviezel, Mark Ruffalo. After his breakthrough role in 1998's The Thin Red Line, Caviezel took on another military role of sorts when he co-starred in Ang Lee's Civil War era revisionist western as Black John Ambrose, the leader of the First Missouri Irregulars, a rogue group of fighters still loyal to the Confederacy. Though many of the Irregulars are just in for the killing, Ambrose still truly believes in the rebels' cause, which attracts main characters Jake, Toby Maguire, and Jack Bull, Skeet Ulrich. In this portrayal, Caviezel embodies an attitude of dedicated strength, a skill that served him well in his roles to come. Director, Gregory Hoblet. Writer, Toby Emmerich. Starring Dennis Quaid, Jim Caviezel, Andre Brauer, Elizabeth Mitchell, Sean Doyle. Like, Deja Vu, Frequency, involves time travel, though here it is Caviezel's character, NYPD detective John Sullivan, who is the one doing the traveling. The year is 1999, 
and John wants to travel back 30 years to change history and save his firefighter father Frank from a fatal blaze. We all know by now that in movies, trying to change history never ends well, with all kinds of unintended consequences befalling anyone who tries. But John's only motive is to restore his family back to the way it used to be, and Caviezel's performance captures the essence of being a family-driven man. Writer, Director, Jared Moshe Starring Bill Pullman, Kathy Baker, Jim Caviezel, Peter Fonda, Joe Anderson, Tommy Flanagan, Michael Spears in this indie, the best reviewed of Caviezel's westerns, Caviezel portrays distinguished Montana Governor James Bierce who once, as Jimmy Bierce, ran with lawmen Lefty Brown, Bill Pullman, and Ed Johnson, Peter Fonda. When Jimmy rises to power, he sees Ed as an obstacle to his career and hires a rustler to kill him. Vowing revenge, Lefty vows to make Jimmy pay for his crime, a killing that Jimmy sees as a necessary evil, and Caviezel perfectly embodies that self-satisfied cruelty so often seen in some politicians today. Director, Mel Gibson Writers, Mel Gibson, Benedict Fitzgerald Starring Jim Caviezel, Monica Bellucci, Maya Morgenstern, Christo Jivkov, Francesco DeVito If you asked most moviegoers, they'd likely know Caviezel best from his performance as Jesus in the Mel Gibson epic. Though Caviezel's performance brought the actor very favorable reviews, the film itself was the source of enormous controversy with many critics, citing the film's explicit violence often getting in the way of its inspirational message. Moviegoers ignored all that and showed up in droves, and The Passion of the Christ is still to this day, the highest grossing R-rated film in US film history at $378.8 million. Caviezel's experience on Passion likely led to his working on faith-based films later in his career. Director, Alejandro Monteverdi Writers, Rod Barr, Alejandro Monteverdi Starring Jim Caviezel, Mira Sorvino, Bill Camp, Eduardo Verastegui, Javier Godino Caviezel's biggest box office hit since 2004's The Passion of the Christ, Sound of Freedom, was actually set to be a 20th Century Fox release, but after the studio was acquired by the Walt Disney Company, Disney decided to shelve the film. The filmmakers then bought back the rights and sold it to Angel Studios which has had strong support among faith-based audiences. Caviezel's performance as real-life DHS agent Tim Ballard who went rogue to rescue kidnapped children kidnapped by a sex trafficking ring in Colombia brought the actor some of his best recent reviews. Director, Kevin Reynolds Writer, Jay Walpert, based on the novel by Alexander Dumas Starring Jim Caviezel, Guy Pearce, Dagmara Dominczyk, Luis Guzman, James Frain. In the brief revival of Swashbucklers after the success of 1998's The Mask of Zorro, this Kevin Reynolds actioner was one of the best. Caviezel was a perfect fit for the title role as Edmond Dantes, a French naval officer who is falsely imprisoned by his rival Fernand Mondego, Guy Pearce. After many years behind bars, Edmond escapes and vows to have his revenge against his dishonest friend. Caviezel is at his best in hero mode, and here the versatile actor also managed to showcase his impressive swordsmanship as well. Writer, Director, Terence Malick Starring Sean Penn, Adrian Brody, Jim Caviezel, George Clooney, Jared Leto, Ben Chaplin, Woody Harrelson, Elias Coteus, John Cusack. Caviezel's breakthrough role came in Terence Malick's acclaimed Best Picture nominee, The Thin Red Line, as Private Robert E. Lee Witt, a pacifist American GI during World War II who, disillusioned with the war, goes AWOL to live with the Melanesian natives whom he has come to love. Recaptured and sent to the front lines, Witt stands up and proves his heroism by sacrificing himself to protect his unit. Giving such a complex character to a relatively unknown actor was a big gamble for Malik, but Caviezel triumphed in the role, which led to a film career lasting more than three decades.